Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So right off the back, I'm gonna apologize about the horrendous lighting in this video. I decided to switch to a different room to record as it had a little bit more space for my tripod arm or camera arm to film more of an overview, but I didn't have the correct lighting set up. So the video looks really dark and dingy in the beginning and it won't be okay lighting until probably after this sketching portion so as you guys usually know i usually like to sketch very roughly with my pilot color eno because it is water soluble so when i paint over top usually the lines don't show through some light washes like the pencil does show through so i do have to scrub a little bit to lift off the pigment so it blends a little bit more seamlessly into my painting but right now you guys can see that i'm doing a graphic graphic graphite layer not layer i guess line art or sketch a cleaner sketch with pencil so that's only because i don't want to be in the dark when i'm painting because like i said if my pilot color you know red pencil is being dissolved by the water then i don't really know where i'm placing certain uh colors or like where certain shapes are supposed to be so i usually do a very clean um pencil sketch over top just to know where like certain lines are before I start painting. So I'm already on the painting process in the video and usually I like to start with the face and then as the face is drying I kind of just hop around a bit. I decided to paint the purple outfit that Ming Hao has I guess styled and I think this is from when he was going to Japan, I think, with Seventeen. He just came back from his own schedule, so he's like hugging all the members and stuff. And there was a lot of cute photos of his outfit, and it's majority just this bold black and purple outfit, which I really love. Um, originally, I was going to do a different purple outfit for my Ming Hao illustrations that I've been doing of his different outfits in a variety of different colors, but I found this one's a little bit better because it shows the full body and he does style like all the way down to even his shoes and his socks because his socks are purple and black as well and the previous one that i was going to use only showed like he had a purple striped top with a black button up like long sleeve shirt and a purple bucket hat i believe but i definitely prefer this one a lot more i think i picked a pretty good pose to show off his purple um jacket uh, it might be just like an oversized shirt that he's wearing over a black button down, but I actually really like this one. I might redo my other Ming Hao illustration that I posted previously to YouTube. The one with the blue, green, and white like bucket hat. I don't know. It's I just don't think I did it justice and I kind of want to redo it again because it has really nice colors and stuff, like his outfit, not my painting, but like I didn't capture it in a way that I like, nor did I get his face like correct. His face is very derpy and like if you guys remember from the video, I like botched up his eye like terribly. <laughs> so at least for this one, like I was really satisfied how the face came out because I really love that shadow I put like right under his cap. I usually don't play around with a lot of like purples and blues when I do shadows because sometimes I'm a little bit afraid to do so but I think it worked out well here. It was mostly a bluish purple, closer to the purple side but it's very diluted, a very light um, and not very saturated purple and it layered nicely for his skin. Uh, another thing to note when I'm doing these watercolor pieces is that I tend to only use one brush. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I know some people love having like their one brush. Usually it's around. Sometimes it might be those, um, the flat ones. Um, but I prefer rounds. I love using it because it, I can get pretty big areas done with just the whole brush itself. And then I can get a lot of detail as you can see when I'm doing like the little line art that I do in watercolor with the same brush because it has a pretty good tip that allows me to get those fine lines and I kind of really enjoy doing watercolor this way. I haven't done watercolor 
in my other style in a long time, which is using my pigment liners or any kind of technical pens to do the line art and me just filling in the colors. I haven't done those in a while and I don't really have any desire to do that anymore. I think like this style, like learning how to paint without having to do line work with a pen, just helped me understand how to layer and paint in a more efficient way. Well, sometimes it makes me very scared, <laughs> um, especially doing like larger pieces. So like when I'm doing those Sleeping Forest series, or even if you were on my Instagram, you might have saw that I was painting a large painting, larger painting of my OC Masaki. And I was very nervous because I'm laying like a lot of washes down. And like I said, I'm always scared if I'm going to lose lines because they're very light with the pencil. And if I did line art prior, then like I wouldn't be afraid of, you know, filling in certain areas and having to make sure that, you know, areas are being shown correctly because they're already been lined. Am I making sense? I feel like I'm doing the voiceover in a very hot room and I'm just, I'm, my brain's not working. But I feel like I say that in every voiceover I do. Ooh, my computer fans going haywire. Um, but yeah, I'm just finishing up the illustration with white gel pen and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video even though it's fairly short and my usual just chibi painting. Um, I might do another sketchbook doodling video soon. Maybe, we'll see. If not, maybe a digital one or another painting. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And yeah. Oh, I guess I had footage of this. So there's that Ming Hao with the bucket hat that's like white and green and blue. Really hate it. Might redo it. Might redo the blue one as well. But that's kind of all of my... Um, illustrations of Ming Hao and I would like to do a lot more because I want to make a zine of all his fashion looks or a lot of his fashion looks whether it's like coordinated by him or it's it's outfits from like I don't know other stylists but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling here and I'll get going but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next week bye